kudzu. The Centennial Exposition, held in 1876 in Philadelphia, was a carnival of wonders. Roughly 10 million Americans were introduced to the telephone, the typewriter, and a miraculous new plant from Japan, kudzu. You see, plant enthusiasts loved the flower's fruity, grape-like fragrance and the fact that the vine could scramble over a trellis so quickly and control erosion. Soon, farmers realized that livestock could eat the vine, making it a good crop to feed livestock. But kudzu had other wicked plans for America. The vines made themselves at home, growing up to a foot per day during the warmer months. Over two dozen stems can emerge from a single crown, and each of those can stretch over a hundred feet. A single massive taproot can weigh up to 400 pounds. Its underground rhizomes ignore the cold and survive for years before sprouting. It strangles trees, smothers meadows, undermines buildings, and pulls down power lines. The vine now covers 7 million acres in the U.S., and the damage it has caused is in the hundreds of millions. If you live in the South, you may not want to sleep with the windows open.